Hi guys, it's Mel. I'm going to try to do this really quick because this is my third or fourth attempt to try to videotape this. I'm still on bed rest. Um, I think I'm slowly getting back on my feet. Um, we'll see. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, I have a project I want to show you really quick. Um, this box here, it's a wooden box that I bought from our local dollar store that I altered, I painted it, covered it with pattern paper and made a little hydrangea, hydrangea flower like little Miss Stamper showed us how to do on a video and I added a spray to it and in where you're supposed to put a picture I put Mel, Jim and Mel, August 2010. My husband and I got married last summer and uh, my mother-in-law, God love her, she has no wedding pictures and I've basically been sick since... Um, we get married, so there are no wedding pictures. We haven't developed them. We haven't done anything. So I decided for Mother's Day, I would do her a little mini album, put, put it in this box. Um, I know that Mother's Day has passed, but we haven't seen her yet because she lives in another province. So I wanted to get this all finished. So I finished this box. I altered this box. Sorry, I'm trying to do this from bed. And then just... So my plan initially was to make a mini to put in the box. Then my husband got involved <laughs> and printed off all the pictures he thought his mom would like. So it has grown in a proportion. But we figure what she'll do is she'll actually use it as a display for the pictures. So I just want to show you, sorry, I'm with the box. I'm just going to show you the album. So it's a, a little mini chipboard album. I actually um, made it myself. I, it's recycled box board. Um, I think it's four and a half by six and a half. It's Kang, a Kang Company paper that I used at a, one of their best of, best of 360 packs or whatever. Um, this is a flower from Michael's. It's actually in the jewelry section and new piece of jewelry came with four or five flowers. I guess you make a choker out of it. So I cut it actually up. Um, we carried sunflowers. So these were actually our bouquets that we carried, took to the beach for the wedding. And we used them on the table where we had to sign for the justice of the piece. So open it. So those are our flowers. And I just, I die cut a lot of frames and framed all the pictures for her. So she doesn't actually have to do anything. She's not a scrapbooker, not a crafty person at all. So it's just pictures for her to have of our wedding. So first page is Jim and I uh, with sunflower um, dimensional stickers. And there's a little ribbon on top and it says bride and groom. And then I gave, gave her a picture of everybody at the beach, because we got married on the beach, and it just says a celebration of love, another sunflower. Uh, there's a picture of my husband. He took a dip in the ocean after the service, and I just die cut a flourish, and this says beautiful, because it was an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day. We were in the middle of, like, a humidity, humidity heat wave, and that day was just perfect, so... Um, there's our exchanging our vows. That's our justice of the peace. And there we are there. And it just says a lifetime of love. Um, my girls that stood with me, my best friends. And that's my nephew in the background. And I just had a chipboard sticker that says wedding. And there's us holding hands, picture of our hands. And I have a little tag sticker that says forever. And there's when we're exchanging our rings. And it says a promise, that little ribbon sticker. And that's when they say, pronounced as man and wife. And I just have a little chipboard sticker um, that a friend sent to me, and it says just married. Uh, there's me signing the register. There. Um, Jim and his two best friends that stood with him. There are, is a picture of Jim and his parents, my dad and stepmom and dad, uh, myself with my stepmom and my dad. Like I said, really simple, just pictures so she could have. And this is actually my father-in-law, and he was leaning in to give me a hug, and he started, chin started wobbling, and his eyes welled up, and all I said to him was, Jesus, don't start crying now. He was, Sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but, um, so it was just to break the ice. He was quite sentimental, and there's... Us as a married couple on the beach. Um, I have light sensitivity problems. I'm not going to get into it yet, which is why I had to wear sunglasses on my wedding day. 
and this is Jim's niece coming in to give me a hug, and uh, I have quite a soft spot for her, so she was really excited that I was becoming Aunt Mel. And there's the hug with Grampy, Jim's dad, and our neighbor has beautiful gardens. It's like a tropical forest, so she said that we could have our pictures taken there. So there's Jim sitting on one of her stone benches down behind her property. And the two of us. And then there's Jim just goofing around. I left my made the mistake of leaving my bouquet behind when I went to get some um, our family to get pictures taken. And there's Jim. And our reception we had in our backyard. We had we put up a bunch of tents. We had barbecues and finger foods. So there's just a small picture of the view from our deck. There was me when it was all done. <laughs> this is Jim's friend Gordy and I don't know if you can see the spray but my brother surprised brought a case of champagne so my uh, his friend Gordy was popping all the popping the bottles to for everybody to have a toast. And Jim always said that when he got married, this up for a sec, he wanted to get married in a tuxedo t-shirt, but what I did was I actually had one screen printed for him, for him to wear at the reception after all the pictures and everything was done, so that's his tuxedo t-shirt he got to wear. And here is our wedding cake with sunflowers, a picture of us cutting our cake, and I just a chipboard cake, and then it just says unity. And there's, oh, sorry about that, and I don't want to redo this video again. Um, there's Jim and his dad standing up on the deck having a drink, looking down over all the people. And the final picture in the book is a picture of the family. So it's Jim and I with his parents, his sister, and his nieces. So um, that's my little mini. Um, I'm really happy to have gotten this done. I've wanted to do it for a while. And I guess um, settling down and being sick, I guess, has a few, very few advantages. But I have been getting some projects done. So anyways, um, thanks for checking me out. And I will talk to you soon. Take care. Bye.